Facts and Math, seven, six, lesson 98. You guys, we played with these tables a little bit before, and we're going back to them. They're my favorite part of this whole book, not because they're so fun to do, but because they sum up everything to build in your brains this whole year long. Uh, and this is what this looks like. This explains it all to you. You'll remember. Through these tables, the FDP tables. You know what I'm talking about? I think we started playing with them just before Christmas, and we didn't do that much with them. But there are these tables where we calculate fractions, decimals, and percents, and we can go back and forth between the different languages. Right? I think of these as three different languages. Normally, I'm just going to put F, D, P, because we're just getting started. I'll write it out. Fraction, decimal, percent. Remember, these are three different languages for sharing the very same information. We've spent a ton of time talking about how to translate back and forth, and we're going to perfect the art. Okay, now in this first one, there are three rows. Sometimes we get more rows, sometimes we get less. And what John does is he wants us to take, okay, so let's take the first row. I'll just fill in the, the first bit of information and then we'll add as we go so that I confuse you the least. In row one, he gives us the fraction of one half. He'd like us to express that as a decimal and as a percent. So we think about that. Maybe it just pops into your head. I'm going to pretend that it didn't pop into your head and help you figure out how to do it. Fractions to decimals. Decimals always have the denominator of 10, 100, 1000, something like that on the bottom. So if we can get this fraction to go into that form, we will be just fine. Ah, well we know one half would be equal to 5 tenths and then we could write it as 0.5. Right? We didn't see that 2 went into 10. We could just divide. 1 divided by 2, we get 0.5 as well. Now we know that when we go from decimals to percents, we move the decimal place twice, and so this would be 50%. Right? We've now completed the first two parts in the first row of the FTB, FDP table. All right, now we go to the second row. This one doesn't have any information in the fraction column, but it's got 0 0.3 here, and then we have to figure out the percent. So the moral of the story is that John can give us starting information in any one of the three columns, and then we have to figure out the other two. If I want to go from decimal to fraction, oh, I know this is in the one tenth place. So that would just be 3 over 10. I look to see if I can reduce it. I can't. All right, so that's good. Over here, I need to go from decimal to percent. I know I want to bump this two decimal places, so that would be 30%. All right, I'm feeling good about this. This, also, if I multiply this by 10 over 10, I get 30 over 100. That proves that that's correct. All right, I feel good. Row 3. Okay, I look at my chart. Okay, this time he's giving us the percent. All right, we can deal with that. Um, to go back to the decimal, you can do these in any order you want. You can go and do the fraction first, you can do the decimal first. Um, whatever seems logical to you, do it in that order. This I know is 40 over 100, or no, 40, 40 over 100 goes here, sorry. This should be 0 0.40 or 0 0.4, right? So I just move the decimal place back. So I'm going to use that for my answer here. And then 40 over 100, I'm going to divide each of these by 20. So I can see that 20 is going to go into both. And that gives me 2 over 5 for my final answer. We always reduce as much as we can in these. So, there are my four answers. Every one of them is right. Aren't you excited and happy? 
all right? And then if you were doing this in your homework, like for this, for practice, you don't have to copy the chart. All you have to do is figure out, just make a list of A through L, and then do the calculations for each one. So, for example, this one, um, I wouldn't copy the table. I would do the decimal by writing point A, and then I would go 3 fifths times 2 over 2 equals 6 over 10, and then that would be point 6. And then for B, where I'm asked to find the percent, I would just go 60%. Because I've already done the work here to show what I need to do down there. So, you don't have to copy the table in the practice. Uh, whenever you're doing your homework, you don't have to copy the table. Just write down the letters and then do the work for each box. Alright? This, you guys, is the culmination of all we've been working on. And I'm so excited we got here. And when you feel comfortable at, and at ease with these tables, you'll know you have made it. Um, so I'm going to ask you in a few days, after I know you've had a chance to do this homework, I'm going to ask you to give me a rating of 1 to 5 on how you're feeling about these FTP tables. Okay? 1 means I'm done. I usually get most problems, most of these problems wrong, and I'm confused. Five means I'm killing it. And I get almost all of them right. And then three means I'm not sure. If I get it or not, I get about half right. And then we have, of course, four and two to be the in-betweens, okay? So I'm dying, I'm killing it, and I'm not sure. This is, seems to be sort of a death focus. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, one means I'm struggling, five means I'm succeeding, three means I'm somewhere in the middle, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask your mom to say, hey, give Diane a score of one to five on how you feel about the FDP problem. And this is the structure that I'll use. Okay, this is how I want you to answer me. So you just tell your mom one, two, three, four, or five based on this after you get a chance to do the homework. And then she'll tell me, oh, Jojo says she's doing four and a half. And I'll be like, yay, way to, way to go, Jojo. Joel will say, I've got a five. So you can score whatever you want, but this is the system I want you to use. You don't have to explain it to your mom. Just tell her the number and she'll tell me. Yay, lesson 98 is done. Good job.